Many of you have heard the expression, I'm sure, caveat emptor, which means buyer beware. The President and the Democrats in Congress should have heeded this warning before forcing the country to purchase Obamacare, which still remains unworkable, unaffordable, and more unpopular than ever. For millions of Americans, the law today represents nothing more than broken promises, higher costs, and fewer choices. Today, we take a crucial step forward in beginning to lift the burdens and the higher cost of this law that's been placed on all Americans. When we were debating this bill five years ago, I remember talking about 30 million people in the United States being uninsured. Today, there are 30 million people in the United States uninsured. It's just a different 30 million, 30 million people. The ones who couldn't be insured are insured, and the ones who were insured can't afford the insurance. Obamacare will cost taxpayers more than $116 billion a year. In fact, on average, every American household can expect more than $20,000 in new taxes over the next 10 years because of this bill. Obamacare's crushing regulations mean smaller paychecks for families while holding back small businesses from expanding and hiring new workers. For every American, Obamacare has meant more government, more bureaucracy, and more rules and regulations, along with soaring health care costs and less access to care.